Attention, every pony! Attention! The official Rainbow Dash fan club will come to order. Let's get right down to our first order of business. I motion that Rainbow Dash be declared the most awesome pony in Ponyville. I second the motion. And might I add that if you looked up the word awesome in the dictionary, there would be a picture of Rainbow Dash. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Check. I think the word awesome is played out. Rainbow Dash deserves better. I motion that we declare her the most stupendous pony. Stupendous? Is that the best you've got? I motion that we declare her wonderific. Astonishing. Breathtaking. Astounding. Bedazzling. What about Super Ultra Extreme Awesome Amazing? Yeah. 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 All in favor of declaring Rainbow Dash the most super ultra extra of whatever you said, pony in all of Ponyville, say aye. Aye! aye. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Words, and I bet modest is not one of them. <laughs> no, but she is kind of awesome. Thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right. 
silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name. Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike Anyway, Spike here writes down everything I say. Don't you, Spike? Don't you, Spike. Got it! This way, I can stay focused on performing those acts of bravery that no pony else has the guts to perform. Yeah, it takes guts, but it also takes brains. And sometimes a big lunch in an egg. Being a hero is surely not for every pony, but I'm up to the challenge. There you go. Someday, I want to be just like you. Aim high, kid, but don't aim for the impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you should go and help? Yeah, yeah. I've got a good ten seconds to spare. Just a couple more. Attention is unbearable. The Rainbow Dash make it on time? done well by our fair city today. I dub this new masked hero the mysterious Mayor do well yeah! Mayor do well huh? Well, that mayor would do well to stay out of my way. Ponyville's only got room for one hero, and that hero is me. than just muscle, and she's going to learn that the hard way.
She saved all of us. We owe her our lives. Okay, she's strong, fast, and somehow knows what's gonna happen ahead of time. I gotta step up my game. she used to fix the dam. Seems like something like that would take quite a bit of study. She really cares about every pony's safety. Have you seen her costume? It is to die for! If you ask me, she's a hero of fashion. A, and she's modest and humble. She lets her actions speak for themselves. You gotta admire that. I don't have to admire that. I don't think she's all that great. She's great. I didn't say that. Sounds like some pony's jealous. Who, me? Rainbow Dash is jealous. Don't break that, Spike! <laughs> <laughs> uh, correction. Rainbow Dash is very jealous. Fine! Laugh all you want. But I'll be the one laughing when I prove to you all that I'm just as good... No, that I'm a better hero than Merduel! <laughs> No sign of trouble here, darn it. Buses and baby carriages are always careening down this hill. Where is an out of control vehicle when you need one? Uh, there are absolutely no freak natural disasters going on anywhere. How am I supposed to prove myself when everything's so normal and safe? <gasps> Hold it right there, Granny Smith. You don't have to pretend with me. I can see that you're in way over your head here. What yet? You're putting on a brave face. I get it, but you don't have to anymore. I'll help you cross the street. <laughs> Actually, I can cross the street just fine. Don't worry. You're an extremely capable home. <sighs> Here we are. Safe and sound. A good and heroic citizen deserves a little recognition, don't you think? I didn't want to cross the street in the first place. <laughs> <sighs> 
<gasps> Some ponies in trouble. Ah. <sighs> You'd better let me handle this, ma'am. For your own safety, I must ask you to stand back. Oh, brother. what I just did. Would you say I was amazing? Aren't you milking this a bit? Please, just answer the question. Was I or was I not amazing? No, you're amazing, all right. And amazingly... Well, look! <laughs> Another great feat of heroism. I have just saved that grass. From what? From wheat. Weeds that were attempting to eat this line. Lame. Uh, whatever. Oh, who am I kidding? All any pony talks about is mare do well this and mare do well that. What about me? How could every pony forget about me so easily? I mean, have I changed? Same sleek body, same flowing mane, same spectacular hooves. Nope, I'm still awesome. They're wrong. But then why am I all alone? I hate being all alone. Hey, Rainbow Dash! I knew it! No need to apologize, Squirt. Any pony can make a mistake. Mistake? What mistake? Wait a minute. Why are you here? To invite you to join us. We're heading off to the thank you parade for Ponyville's greatest hero, Merduel. No! No way! Can't you see I, I want to be alone? I love being alone. Oh, okay. See you later then. Yeah, right. Like I'm going to thank her. Oh, thank you, Merduel, whoever you are, for ruining it. Hey, Squirt! Wait up! Welcome to Ponyville's first, but surely not last, thank you parade in honor of our city's greatest hero, the mysterious Fair Do Well! <laughs> the carriage bus with these babies. Bucky McGilligutty and Kicks McGee. I saved the construction workers with my pinky sense. Sorry! It's all right. And I used my magic to fix the dam. Ooh, ooh, and I did the fly-by afterwards. I made the costumes. Fabulous if I do say so myself. I don't understand. Why? 
Don't you want me to be a hero? Of course we want you to be a hero. But a real hero doesn't brag. Uh, I guess I did start to brag a little. A, a little? little? Okay, a lot. Celebrating your accomplishments is natural, but rubbing them in every pony's face is not. Yeah, the only thing that should be rubbed in any pony's face is chocolate cake. I think we're getting off topic here. What we're trying to say is, it's great to be really good at something, but it's important to act with grace and humility. loads more sense. Yeah, you're right. And I guess I should also act with grace and humility when others outshine me. Like Merduel. Sounds like you've got a letter to write to Princess Celestia. Already got it covered. As your ghostwriter, I've already penned a letter to the princess. That's nice of you, Spike. But I really want to write this letter myself. Oh, come on. I wrote the whole thing already. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> Dear Princess Sol Look out! It's a real ghost! Huh? <laughs> 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 all right, ponies! Listen up! We're all ears. Right, bulk biceps? I'm all muscles! Yeah! I like your attitude, Bulk Biceps. But it's gonna take more than muscles and yes to get us to the Equestria Games. We are the Aerial Relay Team, and it's up to the three of us to make sure that we qualify at the tryouts. And do I need to remind you how much I... I mean, Ponyville wants to qualify and make it to the Games? I remember, I really, really, really want to qualify for you and Ponyville. Bring it on! Give me a P for Ponyville! P for Ponyville! Hey! Oh, thanks, Pinkie Pie. That was a scary, I mean, great cheer. <laughs> Just make sure you have one ready for when we qualify for the aerial relay. And after that, for when we win gold medals at the Equestria Games! Not so fast. If you're gonna be good, you're gonna be better with some of my apple brown Bettys in you. They're perfect. Bettys yes, for perfect! All right, team. Show me what you got. Put some bend into those knees. Flop those wings. And I want to see all four hooves off the ground in the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> compete in one event. <sighs> but rules are rules. Good luck! It was nice of you to be part of the team that doesn't have, uh, the strongest flyers. Nothing nice about it. I know that I can pick up the slack for any pony. With me on the team, we'll qualify. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Ponyville is very lucky to have you. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> I am so proud to be representing Ponyville. Oh. 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 
It's such an honor to even try out for the games. I just hope I don't let any pony down. We'll make them proud! Yes, we're proud! We're gonna be the best fans any pony has ever seen! Ooh, can't wait to see what every pony else is wearing. Even though I am absolutely sure they won't be better than the Ponyville uniforms I'm designing for the Equestria Games. And we will make it to the games once every pony carbo loads on my apple brown Bettys. I can't wait! Flyer. I heard that she's flying the last third of the relay, which means every pony else is going to have to be way ahead to beat her. Oh, the Wonder Bolts! I hear they're flying for Cloudsdale. Then Cloudsdale will definitely qualify. They're the best flyers ever. And the game is on. Huh, nice to see there's some real competition here. Two more days of practice, then we'll see you in the air, Rainbow Dash. If you're lucky. <sighs> the Wonderbolts know a winner when they see one. And we'll be winners just as soon as we practice. Right, team? Right. Yeah! <laughs> and, um, I'm with her. Hooray! Give us some clouds! Maybe? We want to qualify. We need to be one of the first four teams to cross the finish line. Bump biceps, you're the first flyer, so let me see you flap it. <laughs> what the? Sorry. Got the idea from them, but... Close down, take up! It looks like they got better aim. Okay, the passing of the baton needs to be seamless. You shouldn't miss a wing beat or drop a hair in altitude. And whatever you do, don't let go of it. Are you really, really, really sure you're ready? I mean, I don't want to take it if you're not super sure. Ready! Ponyville can do so much better. I'll be back with a freshly painted one in no time. We weren't using that! And it's not like any pony else has color-coordinated horseshoes or anything. <sighs> I guess some ponies do. Some ponies do what? <sighs> have a better chance of qualifying and going to the Equestria Games than others. Dales are Wonderbolts, and Wonderbolts are the best flyers there are, and my personal heroes. So maybe you can learn something. Please learn something. Come on, Soren, pick up the pace. You can do better than that. I sure hope so. Practice, practice, yay! Practice! Okay by the competition. You're the 
best, Rainbow Dash. Ah, <sighs> uh, it was nothing. But if you feel like talking about how great I am, don't let me stop you. Be it for Rainbow Dash! Um, Rainbow Dash actually starts with an R. <laughs> Never mind! Tough break to lose a teammate right before the tryouts. You know, you grew up in Cloudsdale, so that means you could fly with us. Fly? Uh, we mean practice. You could practice with us until Soren is better. What do you say? Want to be our third? Uh, I don't know. My team really needs me to be at my best in order to qualify. Don't want to be too worn out by the time the race comes around. We put you through some pretty intense workouts at the Wonderbolt Academy, and you handled those just fine. <laughs> I did kick some major tail at the Academy, but I don't know how my teammates will feel about me practicing with the competition. Who says they need to know? Think about it, Rainbow Dash. This is your chance to fly with the winners. Wise decision, Rainbow Dash. practicing with two teams, is it? <laughs> you know? Does any pony else? No, they're too busy practicing to wonder why you keep disappearing. Well, I've seen the other teams practicing and we're still gonna qualify. I can fly fast enough to make up the distance. It just seems like one of the teams you're practicing with needs a little more help than the other one. But it's so much more fun working out with the winners than, um, the non-winners. Besides, Ponyville will still qualify. Rainbow Dash, you got a minute? Uh, sure. You could really be an asset to our team, so... We want you to join the Cloudsdale team. Permanently. <gasps> it looks like Sarn's wing won't heal in time for the trials. We want you to fly with us. Of course, this means you won't be able to fly for Ponyville. But... Let's face it, even with you on their team, their chances of qualifying for the games are pretty slim. So, what's it gonna be? Well, I... Take some time to think about it. They want me to fly with them! It's like a dream come true! If you fly for Cloudsdale, Pinkie Pie won't have any pony to cheer for. Rarity's uniforms will never be seen, and Applejack will have slaved over those apple brown Bettys for nothing. 
But I really want to fly with the best team. What would you do? I think this is a decision you have to make on your own. The race is tomorrow, so you better make it soon. sure what's wrong with you. Everything, absolutely everything. This'll cure everything that ails you. <laughs> Thank you, I couldn't have done that on my own. <sighs> Nothing says get better like a little medical pizzazz. Silk slings and a glitter bandage? That might help. And how is our patient doing? I've been better. We just wanted to let you know that we're so sorry you're hurt, but you shouldn't worry a bit about not being able to be in the tryouts. We'll be all right. We even have a replacement. We're so, so sorry that you can't compete. We all know how much you love to fly, and we promise... Cross our hearts! ...that if we qualify and make it to the Equestria Games and all win gold medals, you can have ours, because we know how much a gold medal means to you. Thanks. Ahem. <clears throat> I think Rainbow Dash might need to rest some more. Maybe Don't forget you your buddies! Best. You know, choosing not to choose isn't really a decision. You sure have nice friends. No pony's been by to visit me. Too busy practicing, I guess. Well, hopefully your wing will be better soon. Oh, it's fine. I'm just keeping it warm in case my team wants me back. What do you mean, wants you back? Spitfire and Fleetfoot told me that you were still too injured to fly. And they told me that they were worried I wouldn't be 100% by the tryouts, so they were going with some pony else. That some pony else was me. Until, uh, well, until I got hurt, that is. So, I guess we're all out of luck. Cloudsdale won't qualify without three flyers, and Ponyville won't qualify without you. Too bad. Even with Rainbow Dash's replacement, I don't think we're gonna qualify. No offense. What am I gonna do with all these now? Uh, what were you gonna do with them before? Hmm. Maybe my Equestria Games uniforms will still be in style next year. I mean, I am pretty fashion forward. Is that Rainbow Dash walking? <laughs> Does uh, this mean you're feeling better? I feel great because I was never hurt in the first place. <gasps> <gasps> I faked my injury so that I wouldn't have to choose between flying for Ponyville or Cloudsdale. I wanted to fly with you both, and the decision was too hard. Oh, Rainbow Dash, you don't have to choose us. I know you love to win, and you should go with the team that surely will. I know now who I should have been loyal to. Good choice. Always stick with the winners. Ponyville. 
Because it's not just where I live, but it's where my friends are. The ponies who really care about me. Whether I can help them win a race or not. <laughs> are you sure that's the right decision? You lied to me about Soren's wing just so you could get a better flyer. You may be a winning team, but you're still not the kind of team I want to be a part of. Huh. Rainbow Dash, you are something. Saw it at the Academy, seeing it again here. We could learn a lot from a competitor like you. Think we already have. Ready to fly? Really? Never should have lied and tried to replace it to begin with. Oh, go close still! Come on, Ponyville Relay Team. We've got a race to get ready for. Yeah! Come on, Ponyville! You can do it! I'm sure you all know about the Equestria Games, where ponies from all over the land compete for glory in various athletic pursuits. Well, now you littlest ones will have the chance to compete for a weighty responsibility of your very own. Oh, come on! Tell them the fun part! All you gotta do is show Miss Harshwini the coolest, most spectacular, most rocking routine, and you're going to the games. So who's gonna be the lucky ponies? It's gotta be me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's us. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's us! <laughs> hey! It could happen! My little pony. My little pony Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? So, the winning team gets to carry the Ponyville flag at the Equestria Games. Oh, 
You are gonna love this! Miss Dash, will you please curb your over-enthusiastic outbursts? Now then, let me be clear on the rules. You ponies will form teams. Each team will create their own flag-carrying routine. Every pony will be judged on grace, style, and originality. There's a most complicated scoring system, which I will elaborate upon now. Firstly... Ah, uh, get to the nitty-gritty later. Tell him the important stuff, like who's the coach? <laughs> That's right, me! And you know why I'm qualified to coach you? Guess who carried the Cloudsdale flag in the games when she was a little filly? Me! I'll never forget it. I burst into the stadium, spreading my wings, the flag flapping in the breeze. I did tricks with that flag, the likes of which no pony saw before, and no pony seen since. Professionalism, Miss Dash. I must insist. If you want to keep your job as coach of these ponies, you must maintain a professional attitude and keep your emotions in check. Am I making myself absolutely 100% crystal clear? Yes, Miss Harshwini. You know, professionalism is my middle name. Rainbow Professionalism Dash. Hmm. Well, in three days' time, Ms. Dash will accompany any pony competing to the Crystal Empire, where you will demonstrate your routines for me and the other judges, who will judge you very professionally. Ahem. Yes. Quite, quite correct. In the meantime, get ready to train. And train hard. Because I know this opening ceremony is the single most important thing that will ever happen in your young lives. But I know you're up for the challenge. And so am I. Woo! Ahem. Meet me after school tomorrow at 1500 hours, sharp. And show me your flag carrying skills. I am out of here. Professionally. See how professionally? Oh. Ponies, the most important thing is this. Your routine needs to show what your town means to you. So, do Ponyville proud. Work hard, be bold, wow me. That is all. So what do you say we come up with the perfect routine and win this thing? I'd say that's really damn terrific. But there's one problem. I bet every pony in class is planning to compete. Listen. Some pony in our class is gonna carry that flag, so it might as well be us. Crusaders, are you in or are you in? Cause I'm in! Me too! Me three! All right, the winning routine needs to show what's important about Ponyville, right? Right! right. So, what's special about Ponyville? It's... it's... I got it! It's a place where different kinds of ponies live together as friends. Earth ponies like me! Unicorns like me! And Pegasi like me! So somehow we gotta figure out a way to show that in our act. We're gonna need a plan. And a lot of hard work. And a whole bunch of practice. But take it from me, we may just be little ponies, but we have hearts as strong as horses.
if that's the best you've got, we're going to win for sure. We already have the most divine routine planned. It's absolutely sure to crush everyone else, and I mean crush. But we're winners, and we have hearts. Sure, but you know what you don't have? Your cutie marks! Flags, 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 flags! What does that have to do with flag carrying? Having cutie markless ponies represent Ponyville would be unthinkable. And we, of course, already have our cutie marks. So we know who's gonna be in the winner circle. Listen, you two! Cutie marks or no cutie marks, you'll see! The Crusaders are gonna carry that flag at the games! May the best ponies win! Game on! Show me what you got, cutie mark crusaders. And make it good. Don't worry, we will. Now, this is just a little something we threw together. It's not perfect yet, not even close. Let's watch the cutie mark goof satyrs do their sad little routine. They're gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Since the dawn of recorded time, in one town of amazing amazingness, Three types of ponies coexist. We are Earth ponies. We are unicorns. We are Pegasi. And the town where friendship reigns is our home. Now welcome to the stadium, the flag of the place we love best. Work in progress. So, what did you think? That was amazing! Wait, hold on now. Gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. To give a calm, clear analysis... Wait, you whipped that act together just yesterday? That is... Professionalism, Dash. Keep those emotions in check. Overall, it was kinda, sorta... Overall, it was okay. Keep working hard. Who knows? You might have a shot. Gotta go! Yeah! Do y'all think she lacked it? I'm not really sure. You heard her. If we keep working hard, we might have a shot. So let's keep working. Trap to it, ponies! Did you see that? I can't believe I'm saying this. They could win. But how do we stop them? We already called them blank flanks. Then we need to find a new way to get under their skin. Or maybe get under their wings. Girls, we just wanted to say your act is quite impressive. Wait, what? Um, thanks? Oh, but of course, as a matter of fact, we think you're very brave. Brave? Why? Isn't it obvious? It is to us. In fact, it's obvious to every pony. You're showing all three types of Ponyville ponies, yet you have a Pegasus pony who, who can't, can't even fly! fly! What in tarnation does that have to do with anything? I'd say not being able to fly has everything to do with everything, doesn't it? I mean, a Pegasus pony at your age? You should have been flying long ago. So what if my wings can't get me off the ground? Your career as a flag carrier isn't getting off the ground either. Miss Harshwini will never pick a Pegasus pony who can't fly to represent Ponyville in front of all of Equestria. Miss Harshwini never said anything about that. I would have thought that was obvious. Well, have fun practicing anyway. Even if your routine will never, how shall I say, take off. Don't listen to them, Scootaloo. Scootaloo? You okay? This routine isn't working how it is. We've got to rethink my part in the whole thing. What? Yeah. If we want to win, I'm going to have to fly. Is that even possible? In bad tomorrow? Maybe I can fly if I work twice as hard. See? Ugh. Maybe three times as hard. Golly, I don't know, Scootaloo. I don't think that's the problem. Well, I know this for sure. Flying is the only way we're going to win. So it's back to practice. Is this a good idea? Whoa! Oh. I'll just work four times as hard. 
Probably not. <sighs> guys, guys, guys! Try it again! <sighs> well, we've been rehearsing all the live long day. We're getting tired. Fine, we'll skip to my big impressive flying entrance. So you've done the do -si -do to the left, then to the right, and then there's the hoop. Then I come in... Not quite what I had in mind. We'll just uh, try that part again. I liked her routine the way it was. Me too, but all she cares about now is flying. Don't worry, I'll be flying high tomorrow at our final run through for Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna get this, you'll see. Okay, Cutie Mark Crusaders, this is your final run before you show it at the stadium tomorrow. I know you're gonna absolutely, positively have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, go. Ponyville, <sighs> home of the um friendship. A uh, friendship, right? Uh, there are four, no, three kinds of ponies. <laughs> left, left. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. And then I dip. <laughs> And then we turn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ta-da! <sighs> so, what you think? That's, you know, good and all. <laughs> I just thought maybe possibly you might want to go back to say the first version of the act, which was, I don't know, what's the word? Better just do the routine as it was. Don't mess with success, right? Seriously, now I need to go coach these other ponies. And don't forget, we've got to catch the early train for the Crystal Empire. See you in the morning. What are we gonna do? We're competing tomorrow and I still can't fly. Unless... I'm just too tired. I can't keep going. Me too. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and now I hate this routine. It feels like it's all about you now. She's right. It's like you don't even need us anymore. Of course I need you. Without you two, who's gonna hold up the hoop? Ugh, you don't listen to yourself. <laughs> Forget it. I'm going home to get some sleep. So, are you gonna leave me too? We've gotta catch the early train to the Crystal Empire. I better get some rest. See you in the morning, Scootaloo. Come on, Scootaloo. Do it for Ponyville. Just gotta try 20 times as hard. Yeah! Birdie! Times as hard. Oof. Just a little harder. <sighs> I can't fly. I just can't. Crystal Empire, all aboard! Scootaloo? Where is she? She better get here soon. This here train is about to leave. Here I am. We were scared you were gonna miss the train. I, I'm not going. What? I'm the weak link. If I go and fall, flop, or do anything but fly, I'm gonna blow it for you two. I can't believe you're quitting on us. But you're better off without me. But that's not true, Scootaloo. You know what, Sweetie Belle? Forget it. If she's gonna quit, we don't want her, and we don't need her. Fine. 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 All aboard. How's my favorite routine going today? Oh, I just can't keep it in. I want you to win so bad. Bum, 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 bum. Then Scootaloo does that <sighs> through the hoop. Well, there ain't gonna be a Scootaloo. She's staying home. She's what? She got in her head that the only way to represent Ponyville was by flying in our routine. When she couldn't do it, she told us that she was quitting. And then you tried to stop her from doing that, right? Well, actually, we kind of told her and we didn't want to quit her. Hang on, are you nuts? You're a team, and a team never leaves a friend behind. Come on! Sorry you can't make it. We'll take a picture for you from the winner's circle. I do not like them one bit. Put on some speed, girls! 
Throwing away your scooter? Rainbow Dash? Yep, but not just me. I don't want to see them. And what are they doing here anyway? They're supposed to be on the train. We're not going. Not without you, Scootaloo. What's gotten into you, Scootaloo? I didn't want to ruin their chance to win just because I couldn't fly. And who said you had to? But flying's what Pegasus ponies are supposed to do. You flew when you carried the flag in the games. But that was me. You're you. And it just doesn't matter if you can fly or not. Your routine was amazing because it represented exactly what makes Ponyville special. You do still know what that is, right? Friendship. Three kinds of ponies living together as friends, just like us. Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi. But Rainbow Dash, what if... What if my wings never grow? What if I never fly? Listen, Scootaloo, maybe you'll fly someday, or maybe you won't. You're all kinds of awesome anyway. Who's the toughest little pony in town? Got the moves, got the mojo. No harder working pony around. We are a trio. Work as a team. We'll be the first ponies out on the flag waving scene. So let's get to the Crystal Empire and let's do the routine as it was. And let's win this thing! He got Equestria Games, the Ponyville flag will be carried by Cutie Mark Crusaders! Ahem! Look, what you three did was acceptable. Acceptable? Acceptable? Why, it was totally, stupendously the single most amazing thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Contain your excitement, Miss Harshwinnie. Remember, professionalism. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yes, well, I... <clears throat> <laughs> you know what this means, right? What? We are totally gonna get cutie marks in flag carrying. <laughs> you absolutely sure you can do this? Of course. Wouldn't have agreed to it if I couldn't. Piece of cake. Speaking of cake, I got a little something I need to attend to. Yeah, like keeping an eye on a house full of critters. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that was totally what I was talking about. Relax. Go to your welcoming thing in the Crystal Empire. Spike's got it all under control. <laughs> Hurry up, Twilight! We can't miss our train! Tickets! Oh, this is gonna be a real treat. Princess Kate said she'd never seen the Crystal Pony so excited. Duh! Of course they're excited! They're up for the Equestria Games! It's only the biggest sporting event in all of Equestria. Didn't Cloudsdale host the Equestria Games one year? No. Cloudsdale should have hosted the Games one year. I'll never forget when we got the bad news. The Equestria Games go to the city of Philadelphia. No! Crystal Ponies lost a thousand years to an evil king's curse. They've had enough bad news. No way we're letting them.
can experience the pain of losing out on these games. Exactly. Princess Cadence is counting on us to do our part to convince the games inspector to choose the Crystal Empire, and we are not going to let her down, are we? No! What? I was just answering Twilight's question. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Four, three, two, one. The Crystal Empire, that's the one. Okay, every pony, great job. Sounds like we're ready. One more time, from the top. Oh, oh. I think that was perfect. <sighs> but we've run this like 12 times already. I think we got it. Caden said the games inspector really puts folks through the ringer on her visits. There's no margin for error here. And this time we need to practice the steps. On a train car? You heard the pony. On your hook. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Crystal Empire, ladies. Watch your step leaving the train. <sighs> Probably should have watched our step while we were still on it, too. why we were asked to handle the welcome committee routine. And it's probably also because we'll be awesome at it. Princess Cadence was right. These ponies do look pretty darn excited. Yup, I remember that feeling. But not as much as I remember the crushing wave of disappointment that came when things didn't work out. That right there. That is the face I do not want to see. We're here. Oh, there are my girls. Sunshine, sunshine, lady both away. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> oh my, this is spectacular. Please, everybody, stand back. I need air. Go ahead and try whatever you like. It's all complimentary for the welcome committee. Ooh. That over there is a crystal mud bath, which relaxes your body and rejuvenates your coat. Now, I realize it can be kind of strange to climb into mud, but if you'll just give it a chance, I'm sure... <laughs> Pinky, no! <laughs> so relaxing! Pinky Pie, honestly. <sighs> Go ahead. Have a good time while I get my ceremonial headdress done. Ceremonial headdress? When meeting with important guests, it was tradition for rulers of the Crystal Empire to weave crystals into their manes in a very specific way. The games inspector is known for doing her homework. She'll certainly be expecting my look to reflect the importance of her visit. Princess, if I may have a word, I have two pieces of news for you. First, your main stylist has the flu and won't be able to make it for fear of you catching it too. Oh, well... I hope she's better soon. Do any of the other stylists here know how to do the traditional royal ceremonial headdress? Uh, yeah. No, tell us, tell us Oh. Just, <laughs> just a small detail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're trying to land the Equestria games here. There is no such thing as a small detail. Rainbow Dash. I suppose I could give it a shot. Oh, Rarity, you would do that for me? Way to step it up, Rare. Fortunately, I have all the precise instructions right here. Oh, my! You sure you're up to this? Working on the hair of royalty on such an auspicious occasion is the opportunity of a lifetime. I will give it everything I've got. See? No worries. 
Besides, the games inspector isn't expected for several hours. I'll have plenty of time to figure out exactly how to do this. Oh, Rarity, that's wonderful. You said you had a second bit of news? Yes, quite. The games inspector, Ms. Harshwinny, will be arriving on the next train. <laughs> what? You couldn't have told her that news first? That's 15 minutes from now! Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> How long before Cadence is ready? Hmm. I'm sure to find some shortcuts. Can you have her back at the castle when we're done? Done. Okay, we'll be fine. Every pony just be on the lookout for the pony with the flower print luggage. Easy peasy, put in the breezy. We bring the games inspector back to the castle, put on our big welcome committee, how do you do, and then... Put the pudding out to thaw before you eat it or you'll crack it too? I'll just ignore that. We need to remember that the games inspector arriving early is probably part of a plan to psych us out. What do you mean? You said it yourself. She's got a rep for trying to catch hosts off guard. Just to see if we can handle the kind of massive pressure that comes with hosting the Equestria Games. Oh, oh no. We're gonna blow it. Not if we always stay one step ahead and don't fall for any of her mind games. Anything she throws at us, we just need to remember she's testing us and roll with it. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes, what is it? Oh, no. Be cool. Well, I know you're not expecting us, but we're here to personally welcome you to the Crystal Empire. The whole lot of you came to do that. Uh, well, um, yes. Well, darn tootin' ain't that the cat's meow. Y'all didn't need to do that, but I hardly expected anything like this. <sighs> the princess wouldn't have had it any other way. The princess? Princess Cadence? None other. Well, tie me up and throw me down. This just keeps getting better and better. Can we help you with your bags? Don't mind if you do. Ooh, I love flower print. Sorry. Our first stop is the castle, where we got a big razzle-mazzle welcome plan for you. The castle? Are you kidding? Oh, take it a dog. See that? We just gotta roll with it until the princess gets there and we'll be just fine. So, uh, how's it going so far? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just all so complicated. <laughs> I can fix it. Fix what? Well, I, I was looking for shortcuts and I thought step 12 was optional. But it's not... My golly, the crystal castle. Well, I've seen pictures, but I never expected to see it with my very own eyes. Oh my gosh, she's so nice. You're letting her lull you into a false sense of confidence. Watch that. It's all part of the game. Oh my, I'm so excited. Please have a seat, won't you? Mind if I take a quick run outside first? It was an awfully long train ride and my legs could use a stretch. Oh, well, we were just about to start. Oh, never you mind. You go on ahead. Listening. She was probably testing us to see if we could remain in control of a complex situation. Looks like we passed. Bump. We'd like to thank you for this opportunity to introduce you to this wonderful kingdom. Oh, well, the pleasure is all mine. And since we're not even from here ourselves, who better than us to let you know just how welcoming this place can be? Two, four, six, eight. Name a place that's really great. One, two, three, four. I keep you coming back for more. Two, seven, nine, three. The place that we all wanna be. Four, three, two, one. The crystal of our that's the one. Oh, I'll tell 
Oh, yeah. I have traveled far and wide, but I have never, ever been welcomed any place in the fashion that y'all have done here today. That's fantastic. Princess Cadence would be so glad to hear that. Honestly, I'm surprised she knows anything about me at all. Of course she does. She's been looking forward to your visit for weeks. Oh, goody! Is she here? Uh, where the heck is she anyway? Wasn't she supposed to be here by now? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Maybe I, I, I'll just take my little run outside now. <laughs> or, if you like, we could give you a tour of the castle. And that way, you could be learning and stretching all at the same time. Oh, a tour of the Crystal Castle. I'd love that a whole heap. Dash, we've hardly ever even been here before. It's just another test. We gotta roll with it, remember? Ooh! Let me get the tour! I'll do it, I'll do it! Let me, let me, let me! <sighs> Fine. You all start giving her the tour, and I'll go see what's keeping Cadence. Oh. Hello there. Hello yourself. First hello of the day. <laughs> what are you doing here? We finished the welcome committee song and we just wanted to introduce Miss Harshwinnie to... No, no! Princess Cadence isn't ready. Something's gone terribly wrong. I need to speak to the princess. You can't! You mustn't! She's in the middle of a delicate conditioning rinse that must go perfectly if there's to be any hope for her hair. Come on. How bad could it be? Imagine her mane turned into a porcupine. Ew. Please, I will bring her back from the brink of tragedy, but you have got to buy me some time. There's no other way! So, you see this here? This, um, this is, um, a big round room. It's known for its roundness and bigness. And did I mention that it's round? I think they call it a rotunda. A small, confining rotunda. Whatever! Round is round, am I right? Easy, Pinky. Let's play the safe. We got her in a good mood, so let's not do anything to ruin that. You know, I love this sort of architecture. I detect a neo-Gothic inspiration in the design. Yes? <sighs> and not a moment too soon. Where's Cadence? Please tell me she's right behind you. There is a bit of a problem with her headdress. How's it going here? I uh, hate to be a bother, but the legs are cramping up on me with all this standing around. Huh? She's getting bored, and we have to buy Rarity some more time. <sighs> I'll see if Shining Armor can come help. Can't one of you other ponies take over in the meantime? I got this. Want to stretch your legs, huh? Well, whatever you need, I'm sure we can provide. Let's just make our way to the castle's gymnasium. Our tour will now be headed... this way. And we're walking, and we're walking. <laughs> Wiley. Hello there. Shining armor. You've got to help me. Everything okay? I left the other ponies behind giving the games inspector the worst castle tour ever. Come on, gang! Are we gonna gallop or are we gonna trot? Castle tour, huh? I'm pretty sure I can give you a hoof with that. Let's move, move, move! Everything's gonna be okay. I know. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It worked. Oh, oh, I'm outside. Oh, feels so good to stretch the old legs. Uh, what the? <laughs> Turns out the Crystal Castle doesn't have a gymnasium. Watch it! <laughs> Make her stop. Wait, that's the games inspector. Let her do her thing. Good. All oh, these hoops. I'm outside. Why would she do that? I have no idea. But that's why she's in charge of choosing who gets the games, and we're not. <laughs> Stop her. Where 
is she going in such a hurry? Oh. Oh, yeah. Closer! Closer! Oh. I think we got her! Oh. Yeah. Oh, wee ho! They have failed good! Nothing like a great run to shake the cobwebs off these old bones. <laughs> hey there, Speedy. Oh, these wide open spaces y'all got here remind me of home. This is great. Oh, so you're enjoying your visit. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, good golly, yes. I just love to travel and see new places. Such a beautiful spot you got here, too. Why... Thank you so much. I'm Shining Armor. Oh, the prams. What's going on? From the looks of it, just locking up the games for the Crystal Empire is all. <laughs> Ain't no thing. My, oh my, I never met a prince before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I think in your line of work, you'd meet princes all the time. Hardly. Just an ordinary wild Mustang from Mustangia, here to enjoy a little vacay. Never thought I'd also be meeting royalty to boot. <laughs> you are Miss Harshwinnie, the Equestria Games Inspector, aren't you? Inspector what now? We got the wrong pony? Still be here. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. There's got to be another pony with flower print luggage around here somewhere. <laughs> Except that there isn't. We've got to find her before Cadence finds out what a mess we've made of things. Okay, here's what we do we split the Empire up into five sectors. Each of us search a sector. Well, except for the spa. What's the point of checking there? That's where Cadence is. If Miss Harshwinnie is there, well, then game over, right? <gasps> Every city and empire wants to host the Equestria Games. So I have to go through all the big phony baloney song and dance, though of course I'm never getting the real inside scoop. Oh, golly, I've been having a swell time since I got here. I'm actually thinking of extending my stay. And what exactly has made your visit so special? Oh, gosh, where to start? Oh, there she is. We're in luck! I don't think either of them knows yet that the other one's here! Wonderful news! Look! Princess Cadence, better than new! Princess Cadence? So, this is where you've been. I will have you know this is by far the worst welcome I've had in all my years! I, I can't believe it. What was wrong with your welcome? There wasn't one! What is going on? Princess, we gave our welcome to the wrong pony, left the right one waiting at the station, and completely ruined everything. Cinnamon Bun? When I was a little filly, I wanted so badly for Cloudsdale to win the Equestria Games, but it didn't happen. So I thought I could make up for that disappointment by helping the Crystal Empire win the chance to host the games, but it looks like I ruined your chances instead. Not so fast, Speedy. I just finished hearing about how this pony was just treated to the warmest, funnest, most fabulous reception she ever had. Darn tootin'. Courtesy of these fine ponies right here. Which, in my expert opinion, amounts to the first ever unvarnished, unrehearsed, and unbiased appraisal of a potential host of the Equestria Games. Which can only mean one thing. The next host of the Equestria Games is... to help others get something you always wanted but never had. Almost as good as getting it yourself. Almost. We'll still be able to come back here and watch the games when they're played. You're right. That'll rock! Oh my goodness. All aboard! Huh. Bummer Spike get to miss out on all this. He would have had fun here. 
I'm sure he's having a great time watching all the critters back at home. Think he's still got a handle on things? <sighs> if he's staying calm and collected, I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. You all hear that? 